जयपुर अहमदाबाद दिल्ली में आपका स्वागत लखनऊ जंक्शन Try to look for my words. <laughs> I can't find them. After that end. He was what a game yet again the saturday night game was a thriller blockbuster the sunday night game i'll tell you what with five overs to go i said the words out loud and joy and simon are both here as as witnesses i said this out loud i said mumbai has won this game or this game is yes. over just some paperwork is left correct but somehow this mumbai team has not managed to fill that paperwork in time <laughs> right it was the easiest form to fill it looked like the easiest form to fill but they have botched the chase gujarat have hung on and have pulled this victory out of thin air you got to say it's out of thin air simon this is i mean no disrespect to anybody here right but the fact is that this game was out of gujarat's hands at the end of the 14 maybe even at the end of the 15th over Correct, and they have found a way, and Mumbai have found a way to lose from a, a winning position. But that's what this game does, time and time again. The silly things that happen. Thirty-six for six. Yeah, thirty-six for six from sixteen to twenty. It, they were cruising along. The, the run rate wasn't out of control. Uh, the partnership between Devold Brevis and Tilak Varma was, was cruising. They should have got there with an over and a half to spare. Yep. At least an over to spare. But they've found a way. Catching has been brilliant. Yeah. Let's not let's. We will talk about that more. I know. The catching was brilliant at the back end. The spinners with a wet ball bowled beautifully. Saiki Shaw, four overs, one for twenty-four. Rashi didn't get a wicket, but only went for twenty-three. Yeah. So some crucial things, and Mumbai just. Yeah, yeah, you're you're so right, and I think Joy. Uh, the thing is that it's Gujarat has won this game, and they've been helped by Mumbai, who's lost this game, right? It's fifty-fifty. Bottle the chase, Mumbai for sure, thirty-six for six. Yeah, but at the same time, Gujarat, some of the catching, the David Miller catch, Rashid catch, geez, that came flat yeah. and hard at him. Spencer Johnson is caught and bowled that stuff. Mohit Sharma. Did he make the catch or did the catch make him? Like I don't know what happened. But the Man, fact uh, is, the substitute Abhinav Manohar. Abhinav Manohar. That was, that was a terrific catch. catch. We found it five. Still like Varma. Important catch. We yeah. found it five already. Yeah. So they've done their bit with ball and uh, and and catching, and Mumbai's done their bit by by watching it. But the interesting thing is, you look at it. The wickets have fallen in the last three overs. Five of the wickets fell in the last three overs. Yeah. But what actually tipped this balance? Okay, one is of course you know Mohit Sharma, Mohit Sharma getting that cotton bolt. But after that, in the 17th over, okay, is 39 in four overs, which looks okay. Yeah. Okay, less than 10. Rashid Khan bowls a three ball over, three run over. Three run over, mm. yeah. Without a wicket, yeah. but is a yeah. three run over. Suddenly the asking is 12. The next over, the pressure starts telling. Mohit. Mohit gets a wicket. The next over, Spencer mm. gets two, and then after that, we know what happened in the last over. Yeah. But that that three run with over without a wicket basically yeah. tipped them from a below ten to a twelve, yep. and immediately everything changed. Yeah, it did. What was that Mohit Sharma over? I think that uh, he, he went for nine, and he went. He he took the wicket in the end. That's not bad, right? And yeah. some of his yeah. uh, so you could just see the cleverness because he's not paced, right? He's got. Two slow deliveries, as yeah. you pointed out, which are then become difficult. One is the back of the hand, and one's the off cutter. And the only one that went for four in that over was the on pace delivery, about sort of just above pad height. To uh, Tim David, whipped it through the leg side. Everything else, when he went off pace, they found it really difficult to hit. So something again, we go back to what Vikram Salanki said in the first innings that they felt that it was holding a touch. It was a slowish surface. Slower balls would definitely come into the play. But it was wet. It was exactly. really yeah, wet. Point, yeah. I, that is an amazing. I mean, it is a terrific defence. Yes, Mumbai have botched the chase, but it's a terrific defence. Absolutely, from Gujarat. It's, it's it really. Yeah. It's you. You can look at it both ways, but 
I think you'd rather sort of talk about how well Gujarat Titans have done in this situation Absolutely. with a wet ball and under par total, probably just under par. Uh, they've been superb. Yeah, there is there's, there's one thing. Like you could see Ashish Nehra on the sidelines, right? Young captain Shubman Gill. And this is something Hardik Pandya said to me last year on my podcast, right? He said that in the first year, he says, I was captaining for the first time. Mm. He says, in the first few games, I have no qualms in saying it was Ashish Nehra captaining from outside. <laughs> right? He said it in a public forum, right? He said, I, I would bowl one over to, uh, to one bowler and then I'd look at him saying, oh, I've forgotten who's the second <laughs> we're going to. Right? And it's great of him to admit yeah, that, yeah. very gracious no, of no, him. No, absolutely. Again, in a crunch situation, uh, Shubman also obviously mm. operating on the field. But you could, your camera kept cutting there. He was sending Jayant the other with a message, sending Avina Manohar. I think he gave Spencer Johnson a complete tutorial mm. before he bowled that uh, 19th over. Right? Yep. He did, you could and, see. And, and I'll be fair, to, to he got lucky. It was an, <laughs> I mean, he bowled a poor okay. ball first one, went out of the park. Yeah. The second should have gone out of the park. It was a poor delivery. Yeah. And Tilak Vama's just got a little under edge on it to, uh, to Abhinav Manohar. Great so a, a great catch. So there was some average bowling, yeah. but there was some great catching. Yeah. That, that actually, I, mean, I think the catching has won them the game. True. That, that's been the key for me. Miller's catch. You, you, you mentioned them all before. Yeah. I think that's what's won the Titans the game. Yeah, it really has today. And some of them were real cracks. Those were missiles flying at them. And they got it. And here's the thing. that Even though when we were sitting and pretty much everyone who's watching the game looking at this Mumbai uh, batting lineup, Mumbai's not a team that chokes. They never have, right? You look at it and you're saying, that's it. You know, cross the T's, dot the I's. Job's done. We're going to go home with two points. But it was those 11 people on the field who believe and mm. at the end, that's all that matters, no, right? No, exactly. We don't need to believe. They need to believe. Exactly. They, Yeah, I mean, 12 with Nehra, as his uh, producer <laughs> says. But <laughs> the point is, they held their nerve and they kept thinking the game was on. We never thought the game was on. Yeah. But then again, as I said, again, somebody like a Rashid comes in, bowls. Mohit Sharma and Rashid bowl two excellent overs back-to-back. -back, everything changes. Yeah. And that's one of the things that we've got to realise. That run rates, when you come closer in chases, one or two overs can make a huge yeah. difference either way. Hmm. You know, 20 run over can change the run rate one way. And I think that disproportionately changes the perception. Suddenly, yeah. batsmen are scared. Yeah. They're, they're looking at each other. They're wondering what's happening. I've just walked in. And that's the point. They did not allow the fact that Dew was there to impact them the way they yeah. played. No, the, the catching couldn't have been easy yeah, with that much absolutely. due as well. There was, uh, there was a time when there was two things I remember. There was one when Shubman Gill was diving. diving on the field and they showed that slow motion where he pretty much yeah. took a swimming pool up with him <laughs> with the other yeah, hand. Yeah, they call it aquaplaning. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like yeah. sliding you across the water. I think I've seen uh, Andre Russell do that in a behind-the-scenes <laughs> video. Yeah. I think in Kolkata, right? He's done that over uh, the covers. Yeah. But yeah, Shubman Gill did that. And the ball, I remember once when Rashid was bowling. This is very early on in the innings. Yes. Where <laughs> the wicket keeper threw the ball. Well, he's actually caught it in the towel, saying, because I've got to just literally yeah, just yeah. wring the, the water out of this ball. For them to do that, I know that uh, bowlers practice with wet balls yeah. now, but we spoke about Mumbai when they were bowling. We spoke about the tandem of Jared Kodzie and Jaspreet Bumrah yeah. uh, nailing the, the Gujarat batters. Today, the two spinners have done that for Gujarat to the Mumbai batters. I mean, Saki Shaw's spell, is, it was crucial. He's gone for just six, one for 24, nine dots. Rashid, 11 dots. Those are the keys. Oh, Mazai was good. You know, we were talking about how much they were going to miss Shami. Taking wickets in the power play. That's that is a massive thing. That's what teams need to do. He picked up his two wickets inside the power play, bowled his three overs, went for nine when the fielding restrictions are on. That, that's a good effort from Omazai. You know, first game under, the, under some sort of pressure, but they've got a bit of wherewithal about them. Most of these Afghanistan players have got a little bit about them. They've got some real fight in them. When you yeah. see them play, they understand how, you know, perhaps what they've been through, perhaps where they've come from, all of these things. Every game is, is a must-win situation for them at an international level, you, it seems anyway. And I, they've just got a lot about them to like. And, uh, you know, picking up those wickets early, I thought was very good from him. So it was a, it's sort of like, you, you, we both know Ashish Nira very well. You know him very well. Gary Kirsten, the guys that are in and around that team, it's just a Gujarat thing, isn't it? It's what we've become used to seeing. Yeah. They, they are a team. Yeah, they're they, they, are, they are, you know, a whole conglomerate. It, yeah. it probably starts at the top and it filters down through Vikram Solanke, through the coaching staff, into the players. But they just seem to want to fight together. We thought losing Hardik, losing uh, Shami. Shami was going to be massive for them. It doesn't look like the best side on paper. 
Doesn't matter. Game's not played on paper. It's almost like Richmond, right? Uh, Ted Lasso. Yeah. <laughs> believe. That's it. I, I kid you not. Uh, at the 10 over mark when we do Crick Bus Combox, uh, I was on air and I said, it's probably going to be cruise control for Mumbai. Unless Gujarat does Gujarat things, yeah, correct. right? Something to that effect. And Gujarat have believed mm. and they've pulled it back. I know it's just one game, but it's the first game. And it's so, there's, there's so many drama moments that have happened today, right? The drama moment of Hardik Pandya facing the last over. Mm. Hits a six, hits a four. The 19 is down to nine. And you're like, oh, man, there you go. Yeah. Someone, someone up above is writing the script, right? <laughs> a guy comes back to his former team, uh, you know, and wins it in the last yeah, yeah, over. Yeah. But then next ball, he gets out. So that drama was being written and rewritten with every ball. And as, as predictable as 10 to 15 got for all of us, it was like a snooze fest. 15 to 20 has just been... Absolutely spectacular. And those last three overs have just been just mind-bogglingly bizarre. We have to say one thing, though. We're talking about Omar Zai's bowling. When the 20th over, we were surprised they mm. didn't go to him considering his third over had been really good. Dooley, we were, let's face it, we always talk thought and not result. Yeah. So we're not going to change that thought. We did think that he'd go with Omar Zai. Absolutely. Uh, we were sitting there thinking that they had to go with Mohit. Yeah. Uh, Spencer Johnson and Omar Zai. That was the call. I mean, we were sitting there thinking, where are they going to go? Umesh has not really had he's great success a death bowler, as, right? as a death bowler. It doesn't matter where he's been. Yeah. Kolkata, whether he's been in purple, whether he's where he is now, he's never really been a genuine death overs bowler. Omazai has nailed Yorkers. He's bowled at that time yeah. in T20 cricket and 50 over cricket as well. So I thought they might go with him. But, you know, you get a gut feeling and sometimes that's, that's, how, it, that's how it rolls. Yeah. They probably felt the gut feeling was pretty sickening after yeah. the first two deliveries. <laughs> yeah. But then... You come back, you find a way, and, and that's exactly what, uh, what Umesh was able to do. It was just, you know, we've had, I mean, each game yesterday, both games yesterday, they're just sort of, you're finding a way to, you think one team's going to win it. Uh, Hyderabad were never in it yesterday. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they should have easily won it. Yeah. And they couldn't win it. Yeah. You know, Mumbai were, were always cruising. They were cruising today. But you're right, we're not in the game. All of a sudden, they're in the game and they win it. it it's, it, you know, you can't call a result, even though you had the paper out and it was filled out and all just needed a couple of ticks on it. That's right. Just, in the end, you just crumple it up, you throw it at the bin, and you miss like you and have you all night. <laughs> That's right. I do. I do miss. I've been missing the bin. We keep doing it. No, no, we, it's just waste paper. All right? We don't throw real paper, right? We throw waste paper. Uh, I miss that. What I don't miss is the guessing game. I obviously keep getting it right, and I got it right again. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. Uh, right? I, yeah. was, I was being called arrogant after I got it right again. <laughs> so then I let the kids have one win each. <laughs> kids. kids. Yeah. I let the kids, kids have, have one win. win each. But now, daddy's back. Right? <laughs> I got the guessing game correct. So notch up another one for me. But uh, notch up two points for Gujarat. And notch up uh, just uh, a lot of... Um, I'll tell you something. There's going to be a lot of social media chatter because Mumbai fans are... They're active. Oh, yeah. They've got data. They're up late, right? <laughs> uh, they are on social media. We're already, by the way, getting uh, there's. I can I can hear and see the chatter that's happening as I scroll down uh, my screen. There's a lot of people asking, and they want Joy and Simon's opinion on the fact that uh, Tim David was sent ahead of the captain. A lot of people asking why didn't the captain come at that point in time? Well, I thought he would come. I, I thought Hardik would come ahead of Tim David. Uh, Tim David's been the finisher. That that's been his role. Hardik probably thought, well, that's, that's your role. You go out there and get the job done. But 11 from 10 wasn't good enough to get the job done. Tillak's 25 from 19. Devolt Brevis just went off the boil a little bit at the back end of his innings as well. Yeah. So things just slowed down slowly uh, through that middle to late period. And then they, when you lose wickets and you're asking new batters to get the job done instead of getting the job done yourself. I think uh, yeah. someone mentioned it in commentary where, you know, both those young players, Brevis and Tillak Varma, Good players, talented players. They haven't finished many games. Exactly. They haven't carried their bat through, won a game for their team too often. That's the key. These are the situations when you're in on a tough pitch, you have to be the one to get the job done. And, yeah. and neither of them could do it tonight. And then they leave it up to other players. Other players can't do it. And then all of a sudden, you've you got a W. Uh, you've got an L beside your name. Sorry, yeah. not a W. Yeah, I just, I just, he should have come out. He definitely should have come out under these conditions in a ground that he knows better mm. than anybody else. Mm. You are there and it's just getting a bit dodgy at that point in yeah. time. You come out. Yeah. 11 of 10 is a waste. 
remember. If he gets those 11 off four balls and gets out when he comes in before Tim David, yeah. the game is done. It's, That's right. Yeah, it's easier so, for you. Know, he, gets, he got 11 it's off four balls. It's when you get them. Correct. Yep. When you get those runs, he got 11 off four balls. Well, if, he does, if he does that before Tim David comes out, the yes. game's pretty much done. Tim David comes out with eight or nine yeah, to get yeah, an yeah. over. Correct. Correct. Yeah, and that's the difference, mm. right? Because there was 12. And actually, the thing is that even when Tim David came out, it didn't seem like an insurmountable task, no. right? It almost seemed like, I'll tell you what I felt. I felt like, mm, that's an easy win. He's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, you know, let somebody else go and, you know, do that. It mm. doesn't require heroics. And if it required heroics at that point in time, you'd say, yeah, no, no, the captain should yeah. come out. It didn't actually at that point in time when Tim David came out. It just so happened by the time Hardik comes out, you need the heroics. No, also, Hardik comes out and then finds himself on the wrong side of the strike. Yep. Yeah. For a long yep. time, he's sitting on the other side. He yep. finally, by the time he switches around, he has, he's faced one ball before he starts playing the 20th over. Yeah. Yep. He's played exactly one ball. So, that's the other thing, that they trying to get big hits, they just couldn't get him. At that point in time, even if Hardik walks across and says, look, just get me on strike. Mm. Yeah, get me on strike, let me take control right there. Mm. But they're all trying to hit it out of the park and trying to win the game themselves. You know what happens, right? Now, with how this is played out, you know, forget what has happened, but how it has happened. There has already already been endless speculation on Mumbai. You know, Rohit giving up the cap, uh, Rohit giving the captaincy to to Hardik, Hardik taking over. Damn, this is just going to be fuel on that fire, right? <laughs> A that B is something that we've been talking about before, which is that what have we been saying? That Ashish Nehra is three fourth of a captain outside. Yeah, and they had no. Now they're going to say that okay, you won a title, you came down on the final. Mm with a very average team, which is not a great team on paper again, as we yeah. said, and reached there, now you've got a team which is like easily the most powerful team in the tournament, yeah. probably the, one of the, at least one of the top two powerful teams, and you've lost a match. What are we missing out here? So yeah. maybe that captaincy is not so much you and it's... Wow. One game, it can happen, right? I know that that's oh, yeah. not logical. With no, one no, game, that's not logical. But then we're talking about a narrative which is never based on logic and fact, right? There's and all there's a lot of emotion. On speculation. This, yeah. There's a lot of emotion, emotion already in this narrative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's so much emotion already there. Yeah. So I think if he had finished off, and he well could have, you know, the next ball could have gone for four as well, uh, this narrative wouldn't have played out. Okay. This is now played out in the worst possible way for yeah. him. Fair, fair, all right. But, but Simon, you can also say to Mumbai fans, it's just one game, right? There's a lot of positives that came out of I this. I mean, how many seasons have they started poorly? Uh, yeah, you know, we, that's we what you're saying. It's the first game. Every just, time, pretty much. Whenever they, they, they win a correct. trophy. They, they don't start well. They, they have to lose the well. first I mean, match. There, there are some real positives to come out of what, what we've seen tonight. The bowling of Boomerah, you know, obviously was, was brilliant. Kutsia was outstanding. Brevis had a, a good innings. Rohit looked, looked decent. At yeah. the top of the order with his uh, 43. Yeah, and Naman Brevis also is 46. Naman looked brave. Yeah, Naman looked brave. I mean, just 10, uh, 20 off 10 balls. So, you know, there are some positives to come out of it. But the fact that they lost a game that they should have won, they'll be feeling a little bit like uh, Hyderabad did last night. Yeah. But, the, the, you know, the one law, the, there have been a lot of law changes in the, in the last few years. The one that has made a massive difference, I think, when you see run chases of this nature, of last night's nature... When you get to a point where you don't need sixes, yeah. keep the ball on the ground. Yeah. Because as soon as you get the ball in the air, the new batter is on strike. The yeah. guy at the other end, sitting at the other end. Yes. Classen, last yeah. night. You know, it, the, these are the things that happen. When you get to a situation, Shabazz, last night, seven off five. Yeah. Just hit the ball along the ground. Yeah. You know, look for fours, not sixes yeah. in that situation. Because if you hit the ball in the air, old mate stuck at the other end who's on 70... Can't get, get on strike. Can't Next bloke comes in, gets a bouncer, straight up in the air. Ball's in the air. Still at the other end, not on strike. So these are the little things that happen. But that's the one law I think that has slightly favoured the bowling side and given the bowler a little bit of something back, which I like. Yeah, well, I have a, just to Mumbai fans, I have a GK Factor question for you, for Ooh. all of you. Is that when was the last time that Mumbai won their first match of the tournament? I'll wait. How many years ago was that? Uh, 2017. 2017. So you say seven years ago. All right. Your guess is seven years ago. Joy, you? I'm going to go 2010. 2010. So you say 14 years ago. All right. It's somewhere in the middle. It's 12 years ago. <laughs> Our Bhajan Singh was the captain. Okay. Our dear friend Sean Pollock was the coach. Uh, three of the support staff, I think, were in the team. Yeah. Pollard, Malinga and Sachin. 
<laughs> were in the team. Yeah, 12, yeah. That's how long back yeah. they won. Yeah. And uh, they have a few trophies, as you fans might be aware. So never fear. Yeah, so don't worry about it. It's one game. Just relax. And as far as all the, you know, I know that the fan clubs would love to have a go saying, ah, he shouldn't have been captain or oh, he should have continued as captain. The truth is that Hardik is the captain, right? Mm. The truth is, it was one game. The truth is that Rohit is a senior player who Hardik will be consulting as you saw today. So, yeah, just, uh, you know, give them some breathing room. Yes, I'm, I'm a peace lover. I want to make peace. I'm a peacemaker. But you know what? I'll tell you one last thing. You guys aren't going to listen to me, are you? <laughs> <laughs> They'll still be on social media. Though. Yeah. You're going to do exactly as you please. So go ahead. Do what you want. Let's have a look at uh, the points table. Is this the first time we're looking first at the points table? Yeah, points yeah. table. First, first, time all, first time we've seen all 10 teams. Wow. 10 teams all seen. So we know. Yeah. There you go. And uh, at this point in time, of course, Rajasthan with their, with their big win today, which should not have been that big a win. Uh, you'd feel like Lucknow will also take back, uh, you know, something from that game saying, well, we should have got that, right? They should have got that. And they shouldn't have definitely lost by 20 runs because that's a gaping, gaping gap. Also, 20 runs when Nicholas Puran is still at the crease. Mm. Yeah. So, they've, they've been pretty poor in terms of giving him strike, giving him opportunities towards the end. And I think they look at all that and wonder that this, at least, winning, not winning, they, this game should have been much, much closer. Yeah, but uh, this game, I think that this game, the Gujarat-Mumbai game, we knew it was going to be a marquee game because of just all the backdrop of all the, all the drama. But uh, you can tell now that it's going to become even more of a talking point, <laughs> a trending topic, you know, hashtags flying around. So there's going to be a lot that's going to be going on. Uh, but uh, as... There were a lot of heated moments in this game. There were a lot of cool moments in this game as well. And let's discuss those. Our uh, carrier room air conditioner's coolest moment of the match. Uh, we first take your suggestions and your inputs and your thoughts and your desires before we tell you ours. Here it is. Uh, the catch of Tevatia says uh, Arvind. As in, the one that Tevatia caught or when he got out? Mm. <laughs> I think the catch when he got out, I think. The catch of Tevatia. That's interesting. Uh, well, here is Pushkar Kuntal who says, good from another young talent, Naman. Yeah, that, yeah. that you know, that over that he totally dominated. You know, True. Smashed almost 20 of 10. Uh, Piyush Singh says, boom, boom, boomra at his majestic best. And another one, you've got a fourth one. Lakshit Sagal says, Rohit six of Amesh Yadav made my day. Oh, we have another one. We have five. Obviously, Ooh. this was this was a this was a heated match. We need the cool moments. Bring him. Exceptional reflexes by Mohit to get rid of Deval Brevis. It was from P Pi. You know what? I think I'm going to go with that one as well. That uh, Mohit Sharma catch. I don't know if he caught the catch or the catch caught him. <laughs> he <laughs> caught the ball or the ball caught him. Uh, but either ways. It couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Mohit Sharma is a super, super bloke. We've talked about his story last year where he was a net bowler in 22, became one of their highest wicket takers in 23. And now here he is in 24, uh, getting the wickets and getting that catch. Jeez, uh, he's no spring chicken, Simon. So that catch. And, and I think, you know, the fact he still got his hands to it, yeah. I think was the key. He got his hands somewhere near it. And I think it hit the yeah, stomach, the hip see. area, and then he just sort of grasped around it. But it was hit pretty hard. I, I, rather than single out one, I'm just going to say coolest catches. I like that. All of the catches. Good. I thought they were brilliant Good job in catching. the field. Mm -hmm. Good job at catching. Okay, Gujarat catching. And yours, Joy, your coolest moment? Just, I mean, I'll still leave it because it's early in the tournament and Gujarat's won a great game and I don't want to take anything away. But that Bumbra coming back and that... <laughs> Mm. Dismissal of Riddhiman Saha is just, I mean, how cool yeah. is that? Is yeah, that was pretty cool. Still actually. a great, still a great. Yes. You got to take it. That was pretty cool because that whole over was 140, 120, 140, 120, 120. <laughs> and then a Yorker on the money, like only Bank of Bumrah can deliver. So, that. so there you go. In a match like this, there are going to be lots and lots of cool moments. So that was uh, our opinion, the carrier room air conditioner's coolest moment of uh, the match, according to us. I'm sure you have your own as well. Okay, dokey, man. This has been this, been, this is way too much excitement for a Sunday night. You know, I mean, I thought at the, the end of the 13th, 14th over, I thought we we're going to have a snoozy show. No one's going to be watching. Exactly. This match is going to be over in 18 <laughs> overs. Exactly. It's going to be done. 
but somehow this tournament and this format just ends up delivering these last ball thrillers and that's why we just love it so much. Uh, the man of the match is uh, Sai Sudarshan for his 45. I guess you can tell that it's a, it's a, tough, uh, it's a tough surface to bat on. Mm. The guy who's got the highest number of runs, but I would have still given it to Bumrah. That, that bowling performance was, was yeah, pretty special. Outstanding. Especially given what the rest of the team yeah. was. 3 for 14? <laughs> yeah. Tough one. I, I'm, I'm normally, I'm a fan of it going to someone from the winning side. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, but, geez, Bumrah's was special. It yeah. Was, it was very special. That was absolutely special. But anyway, it uh, doesn't matter. It's all uh, speculation. Because it's already gone to somebody. What you going to do? What you gonna do? <laughs> All right, well, that wraps it up for this game. We have uh, one game tomorrow. That's uh, Monday on uh, the auspicious location of Holi. It's tomorrow, is it today? Some places worse yeah. today? So, yeah, lots of places today. But can well. we standardize dates for festivals, <laughs> Joy? Tell us, is it a time zone thing? How is it many, because we have too many longitudes? How many languages? We have 23 official languages, about a thousand dialects. Yeah. And you want to get wholly standardized? That's why I want to, because it gets too confusing. Otherwise. Anyway, half the colors are on the shirts of Mangalore, I told you anyway. <laughs> it looks a bit being sprayed on. And the same colors are on the shirt of Punjab, because Punjab really likes Bangalore's jersey. <laughs> and uh, tomorrow they're going to be playing uh, each other. This game is happening in uh, Bangalore. And the Chinnaswamy fans are wanting to see their team. The Bengaluru fans want to see their team get uh, their first win. They were kind of outfoxed in the first game, yeah. weren't they? they? They kind of outfoxed themselves, I felt like. And, and, and time and time again, we come back to how powerful their top four, five, six look and how many times they under-deliver. Uh, and that's what happened. They were outfoxed. They were outplayed by just a very smart Chennai side once again. And, uh, you know, Chennai just doing what Chennai do at home. Yeah. Uh, I think they're still the most successful franchise at home. At, at their home venue. We talk about it so often in this tournament. If you steal a couple of away wins and make your home your fortress, you will have success. He said yeah. the word. He said the word. He said the word. One second, just let me one second, just getting it out. So one match suspension. Is that a Simon Doohill. Money in the jar. I'm for sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for using the word fortress. Yeah, Remember so. fortress? Momentum, yeah, these are no, no words that can be that. used on this show. Sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, can uh, Bengaluru do that? Because, I mean, with Chinnaswamy, you see, of course, you know, runs on offer, that, that always ends up happening. They've got the batting lineup to do that. Their batting firepower, perhaps fair to say, a little more than Punjab's? Yeah, look, I think the, the really good thing for them, two really good things for the happened for them. One is the people who got the runs were Anuj, Rawat and DK. Yeah. Okay. Which means that other players are coming to the party, which is really important for them because that's what they haven't had. Mm. So their middle order literally rescued their innings the last time and took it to 173. And Mayank Dagar bowled well. They've never had spinners who bowled well for them this often, yeah. this early in the tournament. Yeah. Both those are good signs because those are not the players they were counting on to make a huge impression. Yeah. So I think that's good news for them. So if they if their top guns now come to the party. Uh, it's not a bad side. Yeah, you're right, Mayang. That's, that just reminds me. We were confused because Mayang Dagar bowled really well for two overs and then you didn't see yeah, him again. Didn't see him again. So again. that's why you say, why you feel like, you know, they, they kind of outfox themselves sometimes. Yeah, a little bit. And maybe, you know, I mean, I don't think Faf had his best night. Yeah. I don't think he had his best night. And, and there were some moments in that game where things could have been slightly different. But uh, yeah, look, it, it's, it's just a tough place to go and win. And, and also, maybe, maybe Faf got confused. Like, four weeks ago, he was captaining the Super League. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? so so yellow, I'm a, I'm just got yellow confused. Guys. Yes, What's yes. going on? There's just too many leagues happening, man. <laughs> uh, all right, but jokes apart, this is uh, the Bangalore team. Uh, do you think they'll have any changes or seems... Too early. If, if the team you pick for the first game, for game number one, you think is the right team, there's no reason to change it for game number two, I don't yeah. think. You know, game three, four, if you're still struggling, if you've still got a combination that's not quite working, yes, you can make a change or two, but I, I don't see them making changes. This includes um, the impact sub also. This is the 12, so yeah. Yashteal was the impact sub. So this uh, includes uh, him as well. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I guess if they are batting first and bowling second, this perhaps Lockie will... Ferguson's bowled, been bowling very well. Uh, bowled really nicely in the recent series down in New Zealand. Um, you know, he's a chance for Alzari Zari. Joseph, but yeah. I, I just don't see that happening two games into the tournament. Yeah. Also, okay. uh, Mayank, they wouldn't have, normally if Mayank had had an average night, they wouldn't have thought of him for today. They would have thought of Vishak, another fast bowler. 
and just say, I, do, I don't need the extra spinner out here. But because he's bowled well, perhaps he'll just make mm. it back in. Okay, Punjab, of course, is coming off uh, a win. So they got uh, the two points against uh, Delhi yesterday in their brand new stadium uh, in Punjab. Uh, this is the team uh, that they have. Sam Curran, of course, doing really well with the bat. Liam Livingston uh, in the end as well. Mm, looks like they might go with the same as well. They have... Harshal Patel there, who started off well in that game, was expensive towards the end because he ran into Abhishek Porel. Uh, but he again knows the Chinnaswamy really well and you can expect him to optimize uh, those I, conditions. I, I think they've won. And to their huge relief, you know, Sam Curran has come to the party, Liam yeah. Livingston has come to the party. Yeah. It's two things that they're really worried about. Liam Livingston is very much a momentum. Sorry. Sorry. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. I, I, I hadn't put it. One man suspension. It's, it's getting late, isn't it? Yeah, we're, we're, it is yeah, it's getting late. We're, yeah. You know, we're done back to back Saturday, Sunday. It's it's getting so late. Like, Excuse so he's on a bit of a roll, and they'll enjoy that. Yeah. So those two really important for them. So they'll be really relieved. Those two have come to the party. I I feel, as I said, uh, we haven't seen the best of Rabada for the last couple of IPL seasons. Yeah. I think you're going to see a really good Rabada this time. Okie dokie. Uh, last piece of business. Players to watch out for from each team uh, for Bengaluru. For Bangalore, I'll go with Liam Livingston. Small ground, no, he can Punjab. Really that's Punjab. Sorry, it's like Punjab. Yes, yeah, so I'm done. So Punjab, we start with. So Liam Livingston for Punjab. Liam Livingston for Punjab. And you, uh, Simon, for Punjab? Uh, I, I, th I want to see Curran better with the ball. Uh, okay. Really good with the bat, but he's going to have to contribute with both in this tournament if they're going to continue to, to prosper. Okay, I'll go with the captain, Shikhar Thawan. Mm. Just feeling it, yeah. just feeling it. And for Bengaluru? I'll go with Maxi. I think he needs to come to the party early for them. Maxi for you? Do uh, you? Green, because the, the high price tags are, are always tough to deal with. Yeah. Uh, and again, an early performance from, from Cam Green in that Bengaluru side will just, I think it'll free him up. Yeah. And, and you'll see the best of him for the tournament because he is one heck of a player. I, I think he's a seriously, seriously talented yeah. player. If he gets an early performance under the belt, he might just take the tournament by storm. Okay, I'll go again with the Delhi boy. I'll go with Virat then, right? So we have this, this everybody's got a different guy, <laughs> right, in there, in their player to watch out for. Okay, the joy factor question and answer. I know we asked this joy factor question like 17 hours ago, but uh, here it is again. Okay, which player featuring in today's matchups is it three T20 centuries in five days? I mean, you don't play that often in the same team together. Did I said by mistake? I mean, I, it was a guess. Marcus Stoinis, am I correct? No, it's not Stoinis, but it's Don't a dip. teammate of his. And okay. uh, uh, this is Nicholas Puran, because mm. if you remember, that's just about, uh, we still have a pandemic situation, so they were clumping all the matches together. So Kolkata had three back-to-back -back, uh, T20 matches. Oh, so I was right to the other thing, which is, is West Indian. You were right about so that. I got something. You just, uh, here's the thing. It's, if I use, for Joy Factor questions, I use the spray and pray philosophy. <laughs> and just say six, seven things and hopefully something sticks. But uh, for people who actually send in their answers are much better than that. So the correct answer came in first from... Ujwal Divedi. Slicker 227. Wow, I wonder what that is. Ujwal has seen the light. Ujwal has seen the light. Well done. <laughs> Ujwal well has done. seen the light. Well done, Ujwal. So, congratulations to you. You've made it part of uh, you on our leaderboard now, which is a fictitious entity. It doesn't really exist, <laughs> but I've just said it right now. Uh, I have to go. I have a very important business. I have to uh, fine Simon and Joy 50% of their match fee for using the words <laughs> fortress and momentum. So, uh, checks all major credit cards and currencies accepted. Okay. Uh, no crypto. Uh, <laughs> I'm Gaurav Kapoor. You were watching Crick Buzz Live. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, have a good celebration tomorrow if you're celebrating Holi. And, uh, you know, just uh, be careful, be peaceful, right? Uh, don't rough too many people up. And then see us back here at uh, 7 p.m. And we're going to be gentle as well, but always colorful. Good night. <laughs> Jaipur, Gaya, Kota, Kripya Thana, Ahmedabad. Delhi, you are your welcome. Lucknow Junction. You will be able to get the same time. You will be able to get the same time. You will be able to get the same time. You will be able to get the same time.